Sands on Sports, you know how we do it, man. We got special co-host today, my man Soren Baker. Soren, man, let them know what's up, man. man tell, tell them what you do, man. Tell them who you are, man, so they can know, man. Hey, man, Soren Baker, hip-hop journalist vet. That's uh, right. Senior editor of The Source, also author of The History of Rap and Hip-Hop book. Came out a little bit ago, check that out. Also produced, writing, directs, and DVDs. Did one, uh, did two with Tech 9 one with Chingy, wrote a show for VH1 on Eminem working on another book and all kinds of different things right now. And then also got Coast to Coast Ravens.com, www.coasttocoastravens.com, Baltimore Ravens in effect, as you can see. Yeah. We'll get to that. that Jason. We'll get to that. Okay. But check it out, man. We're going to go into this week's highlights. We got to start out with the Philadelphia Phillies, man. They won the World Series 25 years since the city of Philadelphia has had a champion team in, in any of the major sports. So big up to Cole Hamels, who was the MVP 4 0. Big up to Jimmy Rollins, Ryan Howard, and everybody on the Phillies. Shane Victorino, who did their thing. Philadelphia Phillies, world champion. So, Philly, you got yourself a ring, man. Big up, man. Now we're going to go into week nine of the NFL. And I know we're going to build about this song. That's what it's all about, the NFL, man. That's right. The first game we're going to go into is the Jets 4-3 and three at Buffalo 5-2. and two. It's a division game. It's going to be very, very hot contest. What do you think about this game coming up, man? I got I'm rolling with Buffalo. Man. You're rolling with Buffalo. Okay. okay. You know, the thing about Favre, as has been the case for the last several years, okay. Favre will throw you some touchdowns, but the bottom line is he's going to throw you just as many interceptions. He definitely is. And, and when those start happening, it seems to be at the worst time level. They got lucky last week with, yeah, yeah, with yeah. Kansas City because yeah. Kansas City's so Kansas City, bad. Kansas City, yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, well, we're going to go into your Ravens versus the Cleveland Browns, or how I like to call it, the old Browns versus the new Browns. <laughs> well, it's the new Browns. Yeah. It's, about. it's so, about the new Browns, okay. Yeah, I think the bottom line is with the Ravens, now that they're starting to get a little momentum in the offense, okay. they've had two off, good offensive games in a row against Miami, and last week against Oakland, That's which right. happened to be at the game. Wow, game. okay, big time, big time. But the thing is, you know, now, Gagey's getting a little bit back and shit. He fumbles a lot, man. No, he's just had two he this year. He fumbles a lot. There's two this year. Seems like he fumbles every time I watch him, man. Well, you must watch him all the time. Stop watching. Stop watching. But, you know, the bottom line is we got LeBron McLean, we got okay. Wilson Gagey, we That's got right. Ray Rice. And the good thing is, Flacco, now that he's been playing a little bit, he's getting comfortable throwing those screens to those three yeah. guys. That's right. And, you know, Ray Rice broke off a 40 yard. Yeah, right. I like, let me ask you this, man. What, what about Troy Smith? They've been bringing Troy Smith in, you know, little yeah. trickery plays. How you feel about that? I just started that with the Oakland game, and the great thing about it is, you know, Troy Smith had not played the first six games because he had the tonsil infection yeah. and all that other Crazy. stuff going on. But then he comes in right off the bench and throws a 43 yard pass to Flacco. How come all the, people? He's the man. Look, well, well, who's going to start? Troy Smith or Flacco? You call it. Let, let, let the coaches know who's going to start. Well, Flacco's going to start. Okay. And I think Flacco should start, and I think what they should do is utilize Troy Smith as a weapon, as wow. he is, wow. and keep using him on a regular basis. Wow. You know, last game, I think he was in there for six or seven snaps. That's right. And he threw one pass. But mm -hmm. he had, I mean, he had one uh, option play where they ended up getting 21 yards. He ran about two yards, and then, mm -hmm. then dished out to Ray Rice, who ran for another 19. I'm going to make a Sands on Sports declaration right here. We will never, ever talk about the Ravens this much ever on the sports show. Just because my man Soren's here, we doing the Ravens. But besides that, never, ever again. Okay, let's go on to Green Bay, who's 4-3, and three, again, at Tennessee, who's 7-0. and oh. They're undefeated, man. Are they going to lose this year, man? They're definitely going to lose, but I don't think yeah. it's going to be this week. Yeah. Green Bay, yeah. they definitely, Aaron Rodgers is playing probably beyond anybody's expectations. That's right. But I also think that Green Bay has shown that defensively, they can be a little poor. Sure, yeah. And the bottom line is, Kerry Collins isn't exactly lighting it up, but he's also yeah. not making, he's that not many making mistakes. any mistakes. And on top of that, when you got the, the two headed running back monster that Tennessee has, yeah. it's not nice. Okay, and, and, and the biggest game this week that everybody's talking about Sunday afternoon, the Dallas Cowboys. Five and three at the Giants, six and one. Now this is gonna be a big game right here, man. You know, Eli, Tony Romo's not playing, tonight, right? Yeah, yeah, Romo's not playing. Yeah, yeah. So is it Johnson? Brad Johnson gonna play? Yep. Okay, okay. So that's a big game. Who you liking that game? I gotta go with the Giants, man. Okay, okay. They, the Giants are, are pretty thorough, top to bottom, and Dallas, they're just you know always on the verge of absolute disaster. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to me, Dallas. 
too much, too much blahs, man, and not, and not, not enough substance, man. I, that's what I feel about the Cowboys. But I've always felt the way about the Cowboys since the seventies, man. All right, New England Patriots five and two. Who would have thought that without Tom Brady going against the Indianapolis Colts three and four? Who would have thought that with Peyton Manning? To me, Indy needs to win if they're going to stay in contention in the AFC South. Right. Because Tennessee already run, already run the division, but if they're going to try to make the playoffs wild card, they need to win this game. Absolutely, and I think it's going to be a tough game. I think, you know, you're dealing with two of the best coaches in the NFL. Mm -hmm. So that kind of negates some of the injuries that both teams have. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I don't know, man. I think it's tough. <laughs> this is probably the hardest one to pick. Yeah. It really could go either way, in my opinion. Yeah. I think that, you know, the Colts have been injured a lot this year, which obviously hurts them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they seem to be about to get Bob Sanders back and get, yeah, and get some Sanders. stuff going yeah. on that makes them a little more healthy. And when that stuff starts happening, yeah. you know, it's either going to take you another week or two, or it's going to just click. Yeah, it's going to click. Clicks this week is over. Yeah. If it doesn't click, click. I think I'm out for the win. Okay. The game I will be watching Monday Night Football. Pittsburgh Steelers let me down last week against the Giants, man. Five and two at the Washington Redskins, six and two. I have no comment because when I open my mouth against Steelers, I jinx them. So therefore, no comment. We're going to Man Storm Bake. What do you think about the game, man? I don't think it's going to be good for the boys. I just gotta say it like that because bottom line is the Skins have been playing real well all year. Jason Campbell is a beast, not making mistakes. Yeah, no mistakes. You know, when you can minimize your mistakes and your quarterback and you're doing as well as he is in other aspects of the game, yeah. it is, it's tough. And Roethlisberger, obviously he's... Dude, for three interceptions last week, man. But that's Come what, on, Big Ben! But that's what Ben does. And people, you know, people get rid of the ball, up. man. Three-step drop. Get rid of the ball. Yeah, but that's one of Ben's, you know, yeah. you know, he's either going up in flames or he's going up with the champ. But yeah. Ben always holds on to the ball too long. Always, always on and he always, as the Ravens have shown, when they do well against the Steelers, yeah, when he, he's easy to pick off when he starts doing all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know. He makes a lot of mistakes. Crazy man, crazy man. So yo, that was Week Nine of the NFL. Now we're we'll going to the email of the week, and this is from Toothpick out of Lancaster, PA. He says, Jay Sands, what do you think about the rain delay Monday during the World Series and them having to move the game to Wednesday and play three extra innings? Well, me personally, I thought it was pretty good because it brought, brought a lot of fans who weren't into the World Series because from the door, it was a blowout. It was 3-1. They were ready to, to, to end the world. Yeah, they, they were smashing them. So for them to, to have th three innings and it, it be on prime time and, and people were wondering about the controversy and they're talking about the umpires and Bud Selig and, and conspiracies, this brought more attention to baseball. So at the end of the day, I think it was good for baseball, but... I think that they have to maybe maybe plan it out better because uh, the rules state that after the sixth inning, if it's a rain delay or or if anything stops anything stops the game from being played, the team wins. And they were lucky that it was tied. yeah they were lucky that it was tied. Man, this is Jay Sands, Storm Baker, Sands on Sports. You know how we do it. Coast to Coast Ravens. Coast to Coast Ravens. Man, we about to get out of here. But we're going to get out of here on, on, on a somber note. And uh, I just wanted to ask, express my condolences to the Jennifer Hudson's family. And also, uh, a, a smaller story that people may not know about is Nikisha Warren. Uh, one of my personal friends in Pittsburgh, Keisha. Uh, both sad incidents where kids ended up getting killed. And I don't know when this became popular or when this became cool, but it's not cool to kill kids, man. Kids didn't do anything to deserve what happened to them. And I just feel sad that we as grown-ups can't sell our differences and we have to bring kids into our problems. Man, I don't know if you have things to say about it, but I'm just saying that, man, I don't know when it became cool to kill kids. But, man, hey, these are our babies, man. We got to love them instead of killing them, man. I don't know. It's real simple like that, man. But, yo, we out of here, man. This is Jay Sands, Storm Baker. Jay Sands on sports. Call Jay Sands on sports. Or Sands on sports. You know what I'm saying? Sands